In this video, we are going to cover this amazing option that Adobe XD has called libraries. So if you go right here to the top, you can see it says libraries. You can leverage libraries to reuse and share assets with teams. And you can learn how right here if you click there. And Adobe XD is great because it gives you all of these great hints if you want to. So when you click on the libraries, this is what you have. So these are your document assets and you can upload this and publish a library. It's going to go to the cloud and your teammates can access it at any point if you want to. Then what you have right here is search document assets. This is great. If you have, for example, thousands of different icons, you have many different font styles, font sizes, you have many different colors and color names, you can easily search document assets right there. But if I click right here, you can see all libraries. So all libraries that you have in a cloud, if you have a specific name of a file, of an icon, of a font, font size, color, so all of these things, you can then search all libraries in cloud and in your local document which is this document it's going to show up in there and then you can simply drag and drop it into your artboard right here what we have next are filters so you can filter them out later when you create them you can uh, organize them like this in a grid or list view here we have colors character styles and components we are going to talk about components in a little bit later video and here you have browse libraries so you have created cloud libraries which they created for you if you want to access it that way or if you have your own libraries you can browse them right there so to get us started what you have first is the color so if i change this color to something much darker like this and then click right here it's going to add that color swatch here. You can see the hex code straight away from here and then you can right click, you can apply the fill color, you can apply the border color depending on where you want to apply it to which element. We have the copy, if you want to copy and paste this somewhere else, we have edit. So when you click right there, you can edit it and you can, for example, select a different color. When you click outside, as you can see, it's updated and changed that color. You have highlight on canvas, so it's going to highlight where that color is used. You have rename, so if I want to create this to plain black, the center, you can then rename this, but still when you hover, you can access the hex code and all of these values. You can also right click to delete or to rename. I'm going to select this color, right click, rename and call it plain black or plain gray, sorry like this and finally we have to add character styles because as you can see this is big and black and this is smaller and regular so if I want to add it I want to click right here it's going to add it you can see how the font style looks like and when I click right here you can see the difference but because this is regular and this is black in uh, font weight you can see the difference between this AG icon for the font you can see SF Pro display, this is 36, this is 70, so you can clearly organize your font styles, you can drag and drop them uh, on top of each other, below each other. So if I want, for example, this to be like this, all I need to do is select it and click right here. It's going to apply that style, or if you want to go back, I can simply click right there. Finally, we have the components and we're going to talk about components a little bit later in this class because they are really broad and really complex. But for now, that's it about the libraries panel. You can see how easy it is to use and to organize. Now that we have a few things, I can click right here to create this view or I can go back to my list view. So between grid and list views, you can see how it looks like. And now you can filter. You can filter just by colors. You can see them right here. You can filter just by character styles or it's going to uh, show you more filters as soon as you start adding all of these things. So, for example, for the icons, for the assets, for all of these different things, it's going to show you that as well. And finally, we have local assets right there. That's basically it for this video. And in the next video, we're going to talk about layers. So I'll see you there.